Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I uh, just received my K1 Max from Creality. Um, so I'm just going to just have a quick chat about the prints I have got off it compared to the P1P from Bembry Labs. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so this morning I just got my K1 Max from, um, that I purchased from Creality. Um, everything, everything I've got has been purchased, so nothing's gifted or anything, so it's a fairly honest opinion. Um, I would say that um, we should have a look at some of the prints, so let's have a look. I'll just get to here. Okay, so this is a thing I, I designed myself for um, just one of my cameras. And this is printed on the P1P. So as you can see, I've written it so I know which what, what's what. And then I used the Orca Slicer, which I've used on the P1P, to do one from the Creality Max. The time was almost identical. And the prints are almost identical, even as far as, oh, you can't. Isn't as far as the lines and stuff are concerned if you look on the back there. Okay, they're both fairly strong. No stringing, no no nothing really, so it's really good. What I also did was printed another one using Creality Print Slicer, the one that comes with the printer. And also the the, the it's printing phenomenal prints. Well, that's all I can say. I printed a Benchy, the next one. I haven't taken anything off this, so no stringing whatsoever. Although this was the one that came with the printer, so it's pre-sliced in the printer, and I am using their um, filament that came with the printer, which is the Hyper Hypo White PLA. Okay, so if we can, I can barely see any lines in that. It is like that is, it's comparable with the P1P, if not slightly better. I don't, I don't know. Now this one was the very first thing I printed and it had to fail. Okay, now why it failed was because um, you are required to put glue on the bed, heat on the um, print bed, which is a bit strange, but anyway, once I put glue on the print bed, they stuck like, anything but it made it most of the way and just didn't finish off the top but if you have a look at the quality of the print coming out of this little um, calibration cube there's no ghosting that I can see the um oh that there that little imperfection there on the bottom was caused by the filament not being pushed in quite far enough I was following their instructions to the letter <laughs> And it, it, yeah, I think they need to tell them to uh, people to push it in once the um, print heads warmed up, print the filament in a bit further, because um, the extruder didn't seem to. But once I pushed it in a bit further, it went like yo ho, and everything came out really nicely. Okay, so heading back to here. So I would say on a um, printer to printer basis. I would say this K1 Max sitting behind me. I would say the print quality I've gotten out of that with the pre-sliced one, which is, of course, made to print on that printer. But that is phenomenal. And the ones where I've actually created it and I've then um, sliced it on the same slicer and then printed it on Creality Slicer. And I can't really tell the difference between any of them except one's done with a different filament, which is a P1P, which is just standard everyday filament, where this is the one made for Creality or by Creality. But I can't really tell the difference in the prints. They are that good. So I think Creality's, whatever problems people may be reporting about um, with a K1, I think Creality have fixed any problems that were occurring because this, the print out of this is just like, wow. 
the only one thing I will say is it's a little noisy. <laughs> but with the speeds that you're getting, even the P1P when you turn all the fans on, it gets a bit noisy. Um, the build quality is superb. Um, I was, it's just, it just, it's a quality looking machine. Everything about it that I could see is just like quality. So Creality have um, definitely lifted their game with this one. Um, I paid, I can't remember what I paid, 14 something for it, 1400 and something Australian dollars. Um, which for the size it is, the bed size 300 by 300 and the height is 300. So you get a 300 by 300 by 300 print out of it, which is fairly good, should do most things. Um, tomorrow I'm going to probably start a, um, I don't know, probably an Iron Man helmet or something. So I can test the printer in its um, large capacity because I've only done small stuff, of course. And I know the Bamboo Labs one does it because that's been my go-to printer at the moment. And um, Bamboo Labs has just hit over the park with that one. Uh, and now Creality's is now challenging, I would say. With this, if, the, if this is a standard of all the stuff, all, all the ones coming out of Creality, they're going to challenge Bamboo Labs because this is a phenomenal printer. The camera in it is is good quality camera. Um, I did um, connect up my internet to it and view through the camera, and it seemed to give me better picture quality than my the stock standard basic one you get with a P1P. Um, comes in built with a light and an internal parts fan inside. Of course, you can see it's glass. Glass top, um, door glass top. I think that's Perspex sides and a look aluminium. Ooh, aluminium with a plastic co um, cover on the back. So it's got an aluminium plate with a plastic covering on the back. Uh, there's carbon filter included in the printer. So it's pretty much the um, I'd say it's similar to the uh, Bamboo Labs Carbon X1 sort of is probably what it's going after. The display on it is very nice. Um, and without even reading what it does, it's very easy just to figure out what all the different buttons do and um, how, to, how to use it. It's just, it's touch screen, it's, it's really good. All right, so that's my thoughts. I think the K1 Max is a bloody good printer. So if you're thinking of buying one, guys, I highly recommend it. As do I highly recommend all the Bamboo uh, Labs printers because they are phenomenal as well. The only problem I have with Bamboo Labs is I can't get a damn PS1 upgrade, upgrade kit because they're always sold out every time I go to their website to get them. So, I don't know. Even the two waiting lists they've got there is full. <laughs> so, I think they need to ramp up production a bit. Okay, guys. Well, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Um, and I will catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye.